everybody, it's me, Kaylin McCoy, the Geek Queen, back at it again with another A update. And I want to just say this beginning part right here is strictly for the parents who want to believe that content creators like me, SML, uh, previously Cute Mario Bros, no longer, but still flesh tubers or vloggers or just any creator on YouTube in general is responsible for their kids' actions. I want to just say for the record that if there's anything dangerous on our videos and your kid does it, that is not our fault. We did not tell these kids, oh, go jump off a bridge or something. We didn't tell them to do that. Second of all, it is kind of a job as a parent for you to monitor what your kid does or watch on the internet. If you don't do that, then what kind of parent are you for thinking that I'm supposed to be babysitting your child by you just putting them in front of the phone and then the next day um, they end up doing something one of my characters does on the video. And here's the record, here, here, for the record. I do throw my characters around, like I actually toss them across a room, but that does not mean, hey, I'm going to pick up my little brother and toss him. No, don't do that, guys, uh, to the kids that are can, still watching, waiting for the rest of the update. Just, I'm, the reason why I'm go going on about this is because I had a thought recently about um, SML's little incident, um, it is an article on The Sun. Um, something's gonna pop up right here, and it's, um, pretty much a woman in England, um, seven-year-old, the seven-year-old son was watching one of Logan's vid old videos before the incident with Nintendo and everything where he can't do Nintendo videos anymore. Um, it tells you what video in the thing. If you want to go look up, just look up Super Mario Logan article, the son, like the son as in T-H-E. S-U-N, the sun, as in the thing that's in outer space. Um, but yeah, pretty much uh, the woman blamed Logan for her son creating a noose and uh, what, hanging himself or something? The kid's fine, but of course, here's the problem. You, the woman in question is sitting there blaming Logan or something that happened in his video. But here's the problem. Logan never did a step-by-step -step instruction on how to make a noose on his video. Second of all, someone can easily go on Google and search of how to make a noose. Three. Last time I checked, that child did not belong to Logan. So how is the child Logan's responsibility? He's not. Also, if you don't want your kids watching Super Mario Logan videos or SML videos, then you should block them from YouTube or tell them not to watch Super Mario Logan videos or there'll be consequences. But please do not go and blame creators for if your kid gets injured or harmed because they saw something in our video. And Logan, of course, never told anyone to go hang themselves or anything like that. Just, I'm just letting you guys know that. I know it's like three minutes in and I should be telling you a whole bunch of stuff about my channel and I just wanted to get that off my chest because it's very important. A lot of adults nowadays are blaming content creators for kids getting hurt and doing stuff that they see on creators' videos and I'm like, that's not really fair because we didn't tell them to do this stuff. We are just creating videos that we enjoy creating and it's really not fair that these parents keep on telling us how, how we need to make our videos appropriate for their kids when their kids are not our responsibility. So yeah, I just want to let everybody know that before I go ahead and go on to the more interesting part of the video. So let me go ahead and get on to that. Anyway, let's get back to the more fun part of the video where I talk about um, what's going on in my channel. Um, this summer, will be the Among Us series. I will be putting my full focus on that um, when I'm not working. So pretty much what I'm gonna try to do is the, the weekends my parents 
or going grocery shopping. Not, not starting this month. Uh, it's April. Not, I want to say around May or June. The days that my parents have to go grocery shopping and I don't have to leave the house. I'm going to try to get some videos filmed. And I'm going to try to get Among Us mostly filmed. But I'll try to get some other shorts here with the Mario characters. As soon as my room is done, that's going to be my full focus. I 100% promise on my weekend, that's what's going to happen. It's not going to be really on Sunday, but you get you get the point. You get the point. Uh, until my room is completely finished, um, you're probably going to mostly get gaming videos um, and or mail times. That's what I can do for you guys. Please do not unsubscribe if I do not post anything. It's not me. It's I have a job. I work at McDonald's. I, I can't constantly post every time. And it's I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that. I'm just it's just how it is. I'm usually tired after work. That's why I can only film so much. You'll get another eye update. Oh also my hair is blonde and pink. If you like it, leave a like, but this is what my hair looks like. I like it, I think it's really cute, and yeah, I can't wait, so, sorry, my hair is a mess today, uh, but yeah, that's what I wanted to tell you. Also, um, I will be doing another audition shape for the show, Chucky. The reason why I'm going to be doing that is because I really, really, really want to be on the show. Uh, also, I'm going to be doing that video for season two. Not not this season since they're already filming this season and there's not a possibility that I could get casted um, unless they find a way to cast me on the spot and I don't personally I don't know. You can't tell I know my hair does by the way, a lot of you are gonna be like your hair is not pink, it looks orange. I know, it looks orange on camera, but it's like a very light pink. But yeah, that's my hair. Um, but anyway, uh, sorry I got distracted, but yeah, pretty much I'm going to be making a second audition tape. I will try to be, that audition tape will be a little shorter, um, it'll be possibly for season two, or the middle of season one, depending on what's gonna happen, I don't know. I don't even know if Dawn saw my first one, I don't know if you guys shared it with Dawn, but hopefully you did. If you did not, it's okay, but I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time. And um, also, I want to let everybody know that um, any hate speech that I see on my channel in the comments, because, yeah, I did recently come out as bisexual. It, by the way, if anyone on YouTube did not know I was bisexual, I'm, yeah, I'm bisexual. Please do not put any hate comments in the comment section of anything I post, or it will be removed and you will be blocked. And... I think YouTube will automatically unsubscribe me from your channel if that is the case. But please do not put any hate speech on my channel. I will not allow it. I will not tolerate it in any way, shape, or form. I don't care if you're talking to me. I don't care if you're talking to somebody else. Please do not put any hate speech. I will not allow it. You will be blocked. That is going to be your only warning. I just want to let everybody know that ahead of time. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this 8 update. I really enjoyed talking to you guys today, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later, Cape Crusaders. Have a great day. Love you.